I got involved in the LCP program not only because of the community that I got when I entered into it, but because it's going to be valuable for me in my uh, professional and educational future. And with so many people on the job market, um, for example, it's important to stay on it in any way you can. And experience abroad and with a foreign language is certainly extraordinary for most people in the United States. Um, experience in these areas shows a willingness to try new things and develop new skills that are valuable in all prof um, professions and relationships. I had the really unique and special opportunity to participate in an internship abroad at my time at ISU. I worked at a manufacturing plant in Germany and I spoke the native language there. So I, I quickly built my vocabulary to include new technical words and phrases that were used in the working environment. And I used them every day and my coworkers helped me develop my language, language skills by letting me practice them uh, very graciously most of the time. Um, LCB not only helped me learn the grammar and the of the language I was working on, but also helped me prepare for what I would encounter there when I visited the country, um, which I was fortunate enough to do during a study abroad experience and both at the internship experience. In classes, we discussed the history of the culture and a discussion um, which helped me understand certain practices and ways of thinking about this other culture. Um, that was really valuable. Going with the flow is a way of thinking I kind of had to adopt while I was abroad. Um, but I wanted to understand why people around me were acting in the ways that they were. And one key to cultural competency is being willing and able to adjust one's thinking to and to listen with open ears and open mind. Um, in all cultures, the tendencies of behavior are founded in history, really, and all ways of thinking have unique driving, uh, unique and driving impetus behind them. In short, nothing, nothing is without reason anywhere, really. Being willing to accept these behaviors, no matter how strange they may seem, is really crucial to understanding and communicating and interacting meaningfully with members of a different culture. Um, Iowa State faculty and the World Languages and Cultures Department put me in touch with some really helpful resources uh, before I even left uh, the United States. And one of these resources um, was people, people in my country who, in the in my destination country, who would serve as my contact points before, during, and really after my stay there. These people knew the, they knew the lay of the city and the surrounding areas. They knew how different parts of the education system and the working environment would function and what I should be prepared for. And they helped me organize myself through the first couple weeks abroad, which are, for me, they were definitely the most difficult few weeks abroad. Um, I learned um, about my country and its language from Iowa State, and the advising support from the WLC staff and faculty was tremendous, and the resources they gave me were consistently of quality and of great help to me. And before I arrived, I had more than everything I needed, and everything, came, everything was much more manageable than it would have been without their support. Practice using a foreign language and exposure to a foreign culture. Um, those are really usually the best tools to learning how to communicate in and live in and comprehend that culture. I, I definitely felt pretty out of place during my first couple of weeks in my destination country, um, but I was I decided it would be best to learn the working environment I would be in for the coming months. and. I put myself in the mindset to be open and to learn and to experience new things, and things started falling into place and becoming a lot more natural, a lot more clear. I spoke more openly and comfortably with my coworkers, and they encouraged me to try using their language, even though my skills were far from perfect. So they had a they had a good, healthy amount of patience with me. Eating lunch in the cafeteria at Lurk was a it was a listening environment that helped me observe how my coworkers acted um, acted outside of business time. Um, this behavior, which I think is usually more natural and organic, and it's a little bit more indicative of what the culture is like, I think. I listened and I paid attention to how the people at my table spoke to each other, uh, really what they talked about and their attitudes towards certain topics. Being an active listener, I was able to act similarly and mirror their behavior, and this new way of behaving helped me feel like I was really fitting in and understanding the culture a little bit more. The LCP program gave my career a big boost. Uh, my freshman year, I started with German 101. I wasn't too concerned with finishing school in four years, so I decided to spend my entire senior year abroad. Um, with only six college semesters of German language learning, I went to Germany by myself to figure it out. Um, I studied my first semester at the Hochschule Mannheim and wanted to try to find an internship for the second semester. I took four classes while at the Hochschule Mannheim, uh, piston engines, turbo machinery, business organization, and a German language class. Besides getting credit for these classes, uh, they were also perfect intros for the internship that I got. 
at the truck engine factory Mercedes Benzberg Mannheim. All of the classes I took and everything at my internship was all in German. Um, and that internship on my resume really helped me get noticed by recruiters even years after I graduated. Uh, graduating into a financial crisis made finding a job difficult, but by uh, my final semester, I, after I gave a presentation about my study abroad, I was approached by the director of the Virtual Reality Application Center at ISU and was offered a research assistantship. And a couple months later, I started at that position. I am a senior this year, so I am starting to think about entering the job market and how I want to use the experiences that I've gained here at Iowa State. Um, and I think that studying LCP has really helped me. I, you know, now I have perspectives that many of my colleagues don't have. I can speak another language, and that was really helpful in most of the jobs, especially in the agricultural industry. And I think that I've been able to learn new experiences, and I was able to study abroad, which a lot of people aren't able to do. I studied abroad in Cáceres, Spain, and I actually stayed for about a couple months after, and I um, did a work away, which is a volunteer program, and I stayed in Spain, and I got to work on a dog shelter, and a lot of the uh, workers didn't speak any English, and a lot of the other people who were volunteering didn't speak any Spanish, so I was able to kind of be a translator in that way, and I got to learn a lot of specialized um, vocabulary, and I was able to kind of figure out what it's like to work in a place where a lot of people don't speak the same language as you. In Iowa State, estudié Biología y Español. Ahora trabajo en Washington, D.C. como técnico especialista en Biología Molecular Propier propiedad intelectual. Como dije, estudié biología y español y quería compilar los dos. Tuve dos oportunidades de estudiar en España durante mi tiempo en Iowa State, un verano en Alicante y un semestre en Cáceres. Durante el semestre en Cáceres, trabajé en un laboratorio que estudia genética de conservación de especies en el peligro de extinción de la península ibérica. Para mí, eso fue una experiencia muy rica porque aprendí las palabras que se utilizan en un laboratorio. También me ayudó conectar con otros científicos durante mi PhD. Otra experiencia resultó de una clase de interpretación médica. La profesora me refirió a un médico que trabaja con trabajaderos agrícolas migrantes. Fuimos al campo donde estaban los trabajadores y yo era el intérprete del doctor. Esta experiencia no solo amplió mi vocabulario, sino que me mostró cómo los trabajadores migrantes de Iowa reciben su atención médica. So I added the Spanish minor into my coursework my second semester of junior year. So I guess you can see that's a little bit later into my career. Um, and so I was only coming in with animal related experience for my animal science major. And because of that, I really did not have any professional Spanish experiences. And that was actually one of my goals when getting into this minor because although I am a native Spanish speaker, I really did want to practice my interpretation and translation skills as I want to bring more representation of Spanish into the veterinary field. Um, and with that, I had a lot of opportunities in this program to expand my knowledge and obviously take coursework to better my Spanish. Um, one of the things that really helped me was the study abroad program that I participated in. I got the opportunity to visit Valencia, Spain, where there I was not only able to take classes at La Universidad de Valencia, but I was also able to intern at a veterinary hospital. So at the veterinary hospital, um, I was able to learn veterinary terms in Spanish that I did not know previously. I was able to see how the veterinarians interacted with their clients over there. I got to learn the client veterinary relationship, the difference between everything, um, just simply how different um, 
a hospital and a clinic works over in Spain rather than here in the U.S. Kind of get to see the bond that is uh, created between the pet and um, the owner over in Spain compared to the U.S. Um, and although it was very similar, it also had the very different culture differences that had taken place. For example, in Spain, you know, the veterinarian always made sure that midday they would go get their cafecito. But here in the United States, you see veterinarians eating through their work. They never stop. They're always working and they'll eat lunch while they're looking at x-rays or putting in information. So I think that overall this experience really kick-started my experiences in Spanish because after this experience, I got the opportunity to work at the Iowa Office of Latino Affairs where we kick-started a Spanish hotline for helping the Latino community during the COVID-19 pandemic and here I was able to practice my Spanish not necessarily in a veterinary field but in a professional manner and work on that continuously and I think it has just opened many doors for me in my Spanish professionalism. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the curriculum that was offered through this program was very nice because it not only helps you take courses and learn Spanish, but also work on it professionally. Uh, the, the classes at ISU um, were very helpful for me. I was a, since I was a double major, I was in the LCP program, so mechanical engineering and German. And what was really beneficial about about that program was the ability to take the, the German classes and the engineering classes at the same time. Uh, so it was really nice to be able to uh, take a break from engineering classes and take, say, a German class for one semester. Um, it was nice to, to get a break between taking um, a lot of the equation and engineering based um, classes and kind of use a different part of the brain for more of the, the language based uh, cultural type classes. Uh, so that was a really nice, nice break between those two different majors. Um, and from, from my personal experience, I didn't do an exchange uh, trip while I was at ISU, but I was an exchange student for a year in Germany before I came to Iowa State. So I'd had that experience already, and, and that was very helpful as well. Um, anytime you can spend a, an extended period of time in, in a foreign country and really get to know the, um, the everyday culture on a daily basis is, is very helpful. And uh, you learn all those things that you just can't can't pick up from uh, reading about them in a textbook or, or watching a class online. Uh, so that was very helpful for me. In the future, I intend to go into the medical field, hopefully, either as a physician's assistant or as a doctor or potentially also working in research. And so the WLC and the language studies programs have been incredibly beneficial um, in that um, being able to speak a second language is um, incredibly beneficial in the medical field as oftentimes um, translators are needed in order to better communicate with patients and be able to communicate specifically about issues. And so I think that my ability to speak Spanish will be very helpful in the future in that I will be able to provide more comfort and more specialized care for individuals. And in speaking specifically to things that have been beneficial to me, um, two years ago over the summer I was able to take part in a study abroad opportunity in Valencia, Spain, where I studied there for eight weeks as part of a program at Iowa State. And that was very, very beneficial to me as well, as I was able to complete Spanish uh, 303, which is Spanish Conversations and Composition um, through Cultures and Spanish for Global Professionals, or Spanish 304, Spanish for Global Professionals, which was very helpful in providing me specific vocabulary as there was a medical terms unit. Um, and so I was really able to come into contact with vocabulary words that I had never seen before in any of my other previous courses, 
so that was incredibly beneficial and also I was then able to take that time to learn from um, native Spanish speakers and also to communicate daily with native Spanish speakers either my other professors or my host mom and family and so that was very beneficial as well not only receiving um, the new vocabulary, which often happens in every course, but then also being able to practically apply it in a lot of different situations, which sometimes isn't always possible. And so I'm very grateful for that opportunity, and I think that has also been very beneficial in looking towards my future in not only gaining the vocabulary, but also having people um, who are native speakers around to discuss it. And so overall, I think that my time in taking WLC courses and in taking Spanish as a second language will be very beneficial to me in the future in the medical field because um, of the importance of learning a second language, particularly Spanish, as that is spoken um, by a lot of people in the United States. Thank you. Because I'm still a student, I have had only one experience so far working in the professional field, which was this past summer. I worked as an intern for BASF, which is a com chemical producing company in Malcolm, Iowa, as one of their operations engineering interns. I had the really amazing opportunity to work on a project that was able to have help from a company that is actually stationed in Mexico. So we had one of the representatives, his name is Felipe, and he came to Iowa to help with the installation of this unit for my project that I was working on. Um, something that Felipe and I connected on immediately almost was our ability to communicate to one another in Spanish, which was something that was really amazing. As soon as we realized that, we immediately switched our conversation between one another from English to Spanish. Um, and we just went from having a casual conversation to a professional and back and forth, um, which was a really great opportunity for me to practice my Spanish speaking skills with a native. It was amazing. Um, so I would say that the LCP program really helped me to feel prepared for that situation and comfortable as well speaking in Spanish to a native um, and speaking in Spanish in a professional situation as well. Um, there is still some words I didn't know in, about engineering, but Felipe was really kind and actually was teaching me some engineering words in Spanish and it was a really great experience um, to talk to him, to have someone to practice with. Um, unfortunately, I hadn't had the opportunity to practice my Spanish in a while over the summer, so it was a really great time for me to just pull out those skills and start talking in another language again. And I really appreciated, you know, taking what I've learned from the LCP program and applying it directly to a profession that I could see myself working in long term after college. So I really hope that my final few semesters here at Iowa State and my final time in the LCP program only helps me grow even more confident and feel even more prepared when it comes to speaking Spanish in another language um, in a professional aspect. So with LCP and the Spanish program in particular, I was able to take classes that gave me kind of a global overview of how business worked in different countries, as well as gave me that vocabulary that pertains to the business uh, jargon and um, things that they would talk about with ROI and economics and things like that. So I distinctly remember my Latin American economics class um, and learning about just different ways of business, different ways that they structured their economy and finances and uh, most specifically South America. And then also with that, um, I took conversation classes that taught me business lingo and I got to do simulated conversations such as interviews and filling out a, even a resume in Spanish. Um, I ended up updating my LinkedIn to have the Spanish portion as well as an English site. That way uh, my employers could see that dual uh, language aspect to me. So LCP really developed my Spanish skills in a way that not only am I able to speak the language, but I'm also able to use it in a professional setting and that specifically pertains to marketing. For me, the LCP program and just my participation in the World Languages and Cultures Department has helped me immensely prepare myself for the professional field. It's given me the opportunity to engage in things like research. I've partic not participated, I worked alongside Charlie Nagel in his research in the linguistics. And 
really it's just given me an opportunity to see what it is like to be a professional researcher and how to conduct oneself and really just how to get your foot in the door, how to create a protocol, how to submit things to the IRB, um, just a very general understanding of how everything on that end of things work. And in my study specifically, um, yeah, I've gotten the opportunity to learn a lot about the, um, like linguistics, sociolinguistics, um, how Spanish-speaking communities, well, not where Spanish-speaking communities exist within the United States, like which certain, which, which, which culture, or not cultures, but which groups of people exist in certain places, and, uh, I've also had the opportunity to go on a study abroad to Spain where I got to experience the Spanish culture firsthand living with a, a host family, which was an amazing experience. Um, did I have the opportunity to learn specialized vocabulary? Um, I did when I was, I took phonology as a course. We learned an immense amount of phonologic terminology in Spanish as well as linguistic terminology and, and even some anatomy which is useful in my in my primary major because I'm kinesiology it has to deal with human life sciences and understanding and being able to utilize the anatomical terms is very important. Um, and yeah. As an employee of and current principal in a bilingual school, my experience was a key reason I was hired eight years ago. I had experience in education as a teacher and data manager, but what set me above the rest of the applicants was my language proficiency. I participated in the study abroad semester in Spain while at Iowa State and honed my Spanish fluency throughout my four years at Iowa State. Then I would say that study abroad experience was really my uh, first foray into international education and prompted me last summer to spend a month in Peru, also working on my Spanish, improving it, ensuring that um, I was as fluent as possible because I knew with over 50% of our families being Spanish dominant at home, I wanted to be able to communicate with them effectively because our school's mission is that uh, Spanish and English taught together is going to make you a better citizen, going to make you a more well-rounded human. And so I wanted to model that in my own learning. Um, I hope that the LCP program will prepare me to use my Spanish for my career in the future. Knowing Spanish to communicate with others and for vacation, say, is great, but I really want to be able to use my Spanish skills in my job, whether um, that be in the U.S. with Spanish speakers or working in a Spanish-speaking country. Um, here at our state, we have a Spanish, our Spanish for Professionals class um, that provides us with relevant vocabulary, information, and business practices in Spanish-speaking countries um, that will help prepare me for using my Spanish in the workplace um, in the future. And I also studied abroad in Spain, and that experience really pushed me to grow in all areas uh, my speaking, comprehension, and even writing. Um, I feel they all improved because of that experience. And I would love to get an internship abroad in the future to see what it looks like to use both of my majors um, together to follow both of my passions. The LCP program helped me solidify the Spanish skills that I had obtained in high school. The types of courses, the great professors, and my study abroad experience all helped me to feel more comfortable using my second language. Whether on my own time, with activities such as reading or watching TV in Spanish, or conversing with native speakers. Studying abroad and having an internship abroad especially expanded my vocabulary and made me braver when using Spanish. My internship was in a hospital lab, so I learned a lot of scientific terms. And also, since not many people knew English, I was really forced to use my Spanish that I had learned, which only made me better.